what, what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The first segment of HBO's documentary, Leaving Neverland, aired on Sunday, leaving Twitter ablaze with both support and condemnation about perhaps the world's biggest ever pop star, Michael Jackson. In part one of the part two series, Wade Robson and James Safechuck detailed the alleged sexual abuse Michael Jackson inflicted upon them as children. He was one of the kindest, most gentle, loving, caring people I knew. He helped me tremendously. He helped me with my career. He helped me with my creativity and all of those sorts of things. And he also sexually abused me for seven years, Robson stated. Both Robson and Safechuck met Michael Jackson when they were child dancers. Robson, who has choreographed shows for Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake, met Michael Jackson when he was only five years old. Both men alleged that over time, Michael Jackson groomed them into engaging in sexual acts with him, taking careful measures to make sure no one would find out. He would run drills with me where you'd be in a hotel room and he would pretend like somebody was coming in and you'd have to get dressed as fast as possible without making a noise, Safe Chuck said. So not getting caught was big, like just kind of fundamental. Part one of the documentary also alleges that Michael Jackson had inappropriate relations with Brett Barnes and Macaulay Culkin, both of whom deny any wrongdoing by Michael Jackson. Barnes took to Twitter to defend himself after the documentary aired, tweeting, not only do we have to deal with these lies, but we've also got to deal with people perpetuating these lies. The fact that they fail to do the small amount of research it takes to prove these are lies by choice or not makes it even worse. Neither Barnes or Culkin was interviewed for the documentary, which I found to be very, very suspicious. Also, like Surviving R. Kelly, Leaving Neverland is full of graphic details and has left fans tripping as more allegations emerge. Going right back to the elephant in the room. Why, why, why did they not interview Brett Barnes and Macaulay Culkin? You know why? Because they, it didn't fit the narrative. They wanted to paint the picture of Michael Jackson being a child molester. So anybody that, that could offer an opposition to that, anybody could say anything different. They were like, no, we don't want that. You know what? They probably at first was like, yeah, we're going to interview Mike. We're going to interview uh, Brett. Let's interview uh, Macaulay. Okay, uh, what are they saying? Uh, no, they're saying Mike didn't do anything. Oh, uh, well, you know what? We don't want to talk to them. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not naive. There's absolutely no doubt that Michael Jackson put himself in the position to be a target of these allegations in a normal society. This society that we live in, I say normal, but we, we really, it's, this is not a normal society. We got a, a lot of crazy people here. But in the society that we live in, we don't consider it to be normal for a grown man to be sleeping in bed with children that's not his, especially little small kids and and a grown man sleeping in a bed with boys and you know we just don't think that type of thing is normal but we also know that Michael Jackson just wasn't a normal type of person on any type of level and if that was anybody that I could give a benefit of doubt in that type of situation it would be Michael Jackson not because of his music but because of his spirit the dude just didn't come across to me as the type of person that would hurt another human being. That's all I'm saying. Now, if, you know, the FBI 
investigated Mike many, many, many times. Michael Jackson had enemies out there who were very, very powerful and had connections to the FBI. So they wanted Mike real bad, but they couldn't get the evidence. They could never corroborate enough witnesses. They couldn't get enough statements together that, that could be corroborated to get Michael Jackson on the charges. So they had to leave him alone. So they couldn't convict him criminally in a courtroom, so people decided to convict him uh, outside of the courtroom, in the court of public opinion. It's a cold game. It's a cold game, man. Oprah interviewed Robson and Safe Chuck, and she basically went in on Michael Jackson, persecuted him, convicted him. Really, Oprah? Since you're so concerned about victims of sexual assault, let's keep it real. I want to know, when is the documentary called Escaping Harvey Weinstein going to air on your channel? No more talk. What the ladies talking about?